the new developments in former President Trump's criminal trial on charges of falsifying business records. The jury's been seated and opening statements are set for the start of next week. ABC's Aaron Katursky is here with more. Aaron, good morning. And Whit, good morning to you. Those opening statements are going to come after a feverish end of the week that included a last minute appeal by Donald Trump and a security scare. This morning, a full 12 person jury and six alternates have been sworn in to hear Donald Trump's landmark criminal trial. Trump was seated in court when, in the park across the street, a man set himself on fire. It was so fast that um, uh, no one could do anything about it. Police said 37 year old Max Azzarello had arrived in New York earlier in the week from Florida. He doused himself with an accelerant after tossing leaflets into the air. The pamphlet seemed to be propaganda based, uh, almost like a conspiracy theory type of uh, pamphlet. Police said they would reassess security around the courthouse with opening statements set to begin on Monday. Even potential jurors feeling the intensity of the trial. One breaking down in tears saying, I feel so nervous and anxious right now. I'm sorry, I thought I could do this. She was excused. Those seated as alternate jurors include five women and one man, chosen from a pool of nearly 200 New Yorkers who spoke about the former president, one saying Trump has brought a lot of value to the economy, another saying he has a fairly negative view of Trump based on his negative, divisive rhetoric. Trump sought again to halt the trial while he tries to get it moved out of Manhattan, where his lawyer argued too many people are predisposed not to like Trump. An appeals court turned him down, and Judge Juan Marchand said there is nothing else to clarify, there is nothing else to argue. We are going to have opening statements on Monday. The trial starts on Monday, which is long before a lot of people thought the judge wants this good to go as fast as possible. That's for his reasons, not for my reasons. Leaving court at the end of his first week as a criminal defendant, Trump said again he plans to testify at trial. Today, the judge said he would decide how far prosecutors could go in questioning him about his various legal entanglements and a gag order Trump violated in a civil case. Wit, we should tell you this morning, the man who set himself on fire outside court has died. Oh, just upsetting news there. Um, we know all of this getting started on Monday now. Do we have a sense of who the first witness could be? We really don't because prosecutors refuse to say they feared if they revealed the name prosecutor uh, that Trump would only go on the verbal attack against that person. And the judge said under the circumstances, he understands that response. Aaron Katursky, thank you so much as always.